before the 21 days of prayer and fasting, I was like most other people coming out of COVID, tired, overwhelmed, felt overworked and stressed and frustrated. But yep. I was praying, but just not in a way that I could actually hear God. Um, I was asking, you know, what am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? You know, um, and I put it all into my career. Like I, if I just had this or if I was just doing this, then that would make everything better. Um, but I never was able to quiet my mind enough. I allow my mind to just, it just, it just goes all over the place all the time. Um, it was so hard for me to quiet my mind enough to, to, to pray with intention and, and to read with intention God's word and to hear God's voice. And then I decided to make that commitment to the 21 days of prayer and fasting. And I've heard the most amazing testimonies. I got up every day. I wanted to be at church with everyone else. And the testimonies I heard were, were so incredible and so amazing and so inspiring. And for the first time in years, my brain was, I was able to quiet my brain. I was able to actually pray with intention and hear God and, and read God's word with, with a, a renewed fascination. And, and it changed my perspective on my career. What am I doing? Why would it? None of that matters. All, all that matters is that I have a job that allows me to take care of my family and my church um, financially, but to also have the freedom and flexibility to help do those things for my church that, that is about the kingdom. It's not about Jennifer's career. It's about the kingdom. And part of that is my church and being able to, to do as much for my church and in my church as I can because the church is what we have um, as far as helping to get God's message and, and, and God's love out to everyone. And Calvary matters, and it matters so much to me. And it's, it's about what can I do for, for Calvary? What can I do for, for, for the kingdom? What can I do to help others? It's, it's, it's about those things and not me. And, and the, the, the time of prayer and fasting was so incredible and so amazing and so life changing coming out of COVID especially. And I just, I just pray that for everyone. I just pray that everyone understands how important our church is, how important it is to helping others. And, and I just pray for this, this huge awakening in Calvary. Um, and so I just, I just wanted to share that with everyone, how amazing that time was for me. And I hope it was for everyone else. And I hope that, that we are all really renewed and focused and, and, and filled with energy and inspiration um, to, to really go out and, and be there for, for God and, and others. And, and I just, I really think the church, I think pastor, I think the entire staff for those 21 days, because it was absolutely spirit changing in my life for me.